Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and this is a video to show you how to sync your lights with your movies, music, and games with Philips Hue Light Sync. Now, this is an app that Philips has released, which basically works with your Philips Hue lights. If you happen to have some Philips Hue smart lights in your home, especially the color ones, preferably the color ones, because that's how you get the best experience, you can download software for Windows or for Mac which allows you to then synchronize those lights with your games, music and movies. Simply visit the website and download the relevant software. I'll add a link in the description to the video. And then once you've downloaded the software, you can start going about setting up your entertainment area and also getting the settings set up within the software itself. This software is really easy to use. Now I've experienced this um, setup with Razer before where you could sync Razer peripherals with the Philips Hue lights, but I found it was a bit flaky, it didn't work quite so well. This is the software itself. It's a really simple little interface that allows you to basically slip, uh, switch between various scenes and then set up um, the lights to respond to whatever you're doing. First of all, you need to set up an entertainment area within the Philips Hue app, which I'll show you how to do in a minute. But then once you've done that, you can go into the settings and you can choose the display that you want to mirror. In this case, the larger of my two displays is the one I use for gaming, so it makes sense to use that as the mirror. You have to connect it to your Philips Hue bridge, which is basically easy setup. You just need to press a button and then you can start the light sync. Now you can choose between scenes, games, music and video. And you can also change the intensity of that and then you can start and stop the light synchronization or you can just use your standard read, relax, concentrate and energize scenes and adjust the brightness accordingly, which basically means you can use it as an office or for your gaming. It's really interesting. Now, the other step is to go into the Philips Hue app and choose the relevant room. You can see I'm using the office where I have three spotlights and a light strip and you can then select to set up an entertainment area and choose the lights that you want to put in that entertainment area. Once you've done that, it asks you to position where the lights are in the room based on your seating position and the screen. You can then select and drag and drop the lights and you'll get to see the lights lighting up while you're doing it in real life so you can work out where they are and make sure they're all lined up where they should be. It will then walk you through that to double check that you're happy with that line up. And as you can see in mine, I have the three spotlights above me and the strip lights behind the monitor. Once that's done, it's then ready to go. Now this is an example of it running with No Man's Sky. It works with any game though, because it basically responds to the colors on the screen. This video actually doesn't do it justice. I was really blown away by how good it was. It really, really adds to the immersion of the games and makes quite a difference. It's very impressive considering a uh, simple bit of software to download and just an easy setup, so easy to set up. And you can see it changes colors quite vividly. Um, you can't see the spotlights above me, but you can see the light strip behind the monitor and that lights up in a range of different colors according to what's going on. And it's really brilliant. I'd highly recommend downloading this software if you have Philips Hue lights and buying them if you don't have them. This has been the Provoke Prawn. Thanks for watching.